Hi, this is Ilma Art Studio Photograph for today. Another cloud formation in uh, near Orangeville. Check my artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com for more of my works. And um, I'd like to share with you today uh, my poem devotional, which is extracted from Isaiah 48, verse 17. It says, I am the Lord your God who teaches you what is good for you and leads you along the path you should follow. And here's my poem. The Greatest Teacher Do you rely on others to teach and tell you what to do? There is no one else who knows you through and through. God alone sees your heart, thoughts, and intentions. He knows how to handle your trials and tribulations. The greatest teacher leads you along paths you should follow. He has your best interest at heart and hears your sorrow. Do not lose hope. Come to him and he will show you the way. He will, conf he will confront all your enemies and he will make them pay. And here is my essay uh, regarding that. There are many people who can tell you what to do and how to live your life. Do they really know what is good for you? Only God knows our thoughts, feelings, and heart. He knows us by name, even before we were born. He knows every strand in our hair. And that's from Luke 12, verse 7. God is all-knowing and all-seeing. He invites us to allow Him to teach us and lead us to the paths we should follow. He is the greatest teacher. When we rely on Him for guidance, we are guaranteed a life full of promises and fruits of His Spirit. Prayer Lord, help me to consult with you always. Reflection Why does God want us to seek guidance from Him? And that is the end of the essay and the poem devotional. i uh, just like to give some uh, testimonies regarding that. Um, there was a time at a point in my life I, that I became um, a counseling addict. Every time, like I have a very analytical mind, so I always have to justify and, you know, do everything I can to find out how to solve my problem. Because um, I was never guided how to go through problem solving with anybody in my life, so I learned to do it on my own. And... Um, but after a while, it becomes a form of a control. It's a control behavior because you always want to make sure that you're on top of everything. And I didn't realize that I w that became a stronghold in my life because, you know, you constantly... I, I became like a thinking addict. Every time there's something, I have to analyze and think about it. <clears throat> I didn't realize that, you know, even I, even I myself don't really know, you know, myself only God knows everything but um, we know but because sometimes we can deceive ourselves into thinking that you know sometimes we this is our idea of ourself but really how people look at us is different or how we really relate to others is different so I think that you shouldn't just be following anybody else's advice but uh, the best way to find out what God wants you to do is to go and seek Him, have a relationship with Him, consult with Him, talk to Him. That's praying, talking to Him. Talk with your heart and also refer to the, the Bible because the Bible has all the guidelines. It's a road map to our life so that we will be able to uh, get access to everything that God has in store for us. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful, blessed night. God bless.